Live from the Iowa State Fair, this is KCCI 8 News at 5. Welcome to KCCI 8 News at 5, live from the Mid-American Energy Stage at the Iowa State Fair. I'm Jason Sudeiko. And I'm Stacy Horst, and we're so happy to have you with us today. And we have some big news. Big news. We're celebrating here today. Jason was just promoted to Chief Meteorologist here at KCCI. Congratulations. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's really cool. Honestly, it's an honor. I mean, you think of the chiefs that have come beforehand. Yeah. I mean, you have legendary names, John McLaughlin, you've got Curtis Gertz, and it's like, to share that company and yeah. to share the support of everybody, I mean, you guys have been amazing. You guys have been yeah. absolutely amazing. Just deserve it. So, Thank I'm you. honestly, I'm getting tingles right yes, now. Yes. So, um, I, I really appreciate it, all the kind words. Thank you so much. And um, so, yeah, everybody's wondering, are you going to stay in the mornings? Are you going to come to the evenings? How is that going to work? I'm going to do both. No, I'm just oh, kidding. There you go. <laughs> you are now. Yeah, it's, it's hard now. It'll be way even harder later. But um, no, I'll, be, I'll still be on KCCI 8 uh, News this morning throughout the, the first week of the fall there. So around October at some point. Yeah. Okay. Come on over to the night side. I'm the excited. dark side. I'm excited. It's going to be great. That's going to be great. Let's hear it for Jason one more time. Oh. We have a fun, a fun shout out too. Nicholas Schmidt is in our audience today. He's celebrating his 16th birthday. He came to Where the fair he? instead of going to get his driver's license. Stand Nicholas, up! Stand oh, up! Way to go! There awesome. he is! Happy yeah. birthday! Happy birthday, man! Happy birthday! That's awesome! That's awesome! So you know you can watch our broadcast here at the fair on television or on our very local app. You can find live news content and other information. The folks at home can. Hit the QR code on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen right now, and that link gives you a direct download to link. Yeah, it's important to do that, so yeah. please do that. Um, and it was a big day today uh, with some big wheel races. Uh, kids put the pedal of the pavement on the Grand Concourse. And uh, I know it sounds easy, but it's a lot harder than it looks. You have to make sure you don't go the wrong way, first of all. I know I would do that. Uh, and you have to stay in the lines. That also is tough to do. You can see them there going at it. Uh, some kids even got flat tires mid-ride. Say it ain't so. Look at them cruising, though. I, I know. I don't know. Uh, but uh, most, most importantly, everybody had fun. Oh, it's a good time. Hey, another State Fair classic, a pie-eating contest. It's an activity for all ages. It's so much fun. You put your hands behind your back and your face in the plate, and you clean the plate. Who doesn't love that? Who, who would love to eat pie like that? Just Me. dig in with your face, Me. right? So the winner of the youth pie eating contest is Walker Halshid, uh, Halshid of Earlham. And let's hear what his winning words are. Uh, Cause like I scooped my mouth and it was like half of it gone, but I could do this. Oh, that's so great. That's so great. Now, Bo Bowman, look at that video right there on your screen. Bo Bowman got in on the pie-eating action oh, today man. in the celebrity contest. So, Bo, how'd you do in that contest? Uh, not so great. I, I, I thought I was eating fast, but, man, there's some stiff competition out there. The winner did it in, like, eight seconds. Seasoned <laughs> veterans, oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to up my game for next year. And when did it take to get the pie out of the beard? Uh, a shower. <laughs> <laughs> so did the beard help or hinder the eating? That's it right. probably, well, it helped because it kept a lot of it off the plate. It, but it, oh, but, you cheated. It, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's kind of cheating, but Pro we won't tip right here. <laughs> all right, all right. That was good, good for you to participate in today. What else have you been up to today? Well, this, morning, or this afternoon we were up at the Cultural Center, which is the building right behind us, and it's where a lot of the indoor exhibits are. And I got to try my hand at a new art form that I'd never heard of before. Sandy Gookin has been the chairman of the China Painting Exhibit for 27 years now. We have hung out with her for a while this afternoon. The 86-year-old loves coming to the fair every year and seeing all of the entries. She still enters a few of her own works of art every year. She has a booth where she will teach you how to do the China painting. I even sat down with her to try it out myself, and she said I didn't do too bad. And let me tell you, if I can do it, you can do it. So you can go out and see her at, um, up in the cultural building on the second floor. She says when she got started, the building did not have air conditioning in it, and she's proud of the investments the fair has made into making that building better for the kids. 
They had windows that opened and the dirt came in. They had fans that you had to yell to talk to people because the fans were making so much noise. So I've seen it grow and I like the idea of the growth on it. And I keep coming back. Now Sandy is still winning blue ribbons today, but she says she's won so many over the years that when people buy the art, she just gives the oh, ribbon away wow. with it. Yeah. No so, way. yeah, it's pretty special up there for her. She's on the second floor of the cultural building. If you want to go check it out uh, on the south side there by uh, those exhibits over there. You covered all spectrum of the fair today. You did the dig in with the face and then you did classy stuff in yeah. the afternoon. I'm Some so painting. proud of you. Yeah. Very nice. A renaissance man. You are a well-rounded. Yes. Yes, exactly. And you even threw poop yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yes. A jack of all trades, master of none. Oh, but still in search great. of that blue ribbon. So oh, maybe it. tomorrow. I believe in you. <laughs> Bo Bowman, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you, Bo. <laughs> so farming is one of the big celebrations here at the Iowa State Fair. It is a family affair. Any farm families here? Anybody grew up on a farm? Love the farm? That's great. That's great. Hundreds of Iowa families have been farming here for generations. Iowa Secretary of Agriculture Mike Neg honored 242 Century Farms and 156 Heritage Farms this morning. Century Farms have been owned by the same family for 100 years. Heritage Farms have been in the same family for 150 years. Since the 1970s, more than 23,000 farms were honored across the state. That's tremendous. Oh, it's amazing. It's just amazing, the history with that. Um, so, yeah, there's so much to do, see, and eat here on the news at 5 at the fair. But there are also some important updates. That's right. Todd Magel and Amanda Rooker are back in the studio with the news of the day. Guys? Well, Stacey, Jason, you guys better bring us back some of that pie when you head back to the studio. But before that, we'll check back in in just a couple of minutes. Now, Nottaway Valley High School has named a new football coach, according to multiple news reports. Now, the news comes one day after former head coach Ryan Kissel was arrested Wednesday. Kissel has been charged with 46 counts of sexual abuse. Police say he was arrested around 1 p.m. Wednesday at Nottaway Valley High School. He's being held at the Union County Jail right now. Creston Community School District confirmed to KCCI that he had been a teacher and a coach at the district since 2020. And a Clive playground is now a charred pile of ruins, and police say someone did it on purpose. Now, here is what the Stonegate Park playground looked like before. Now, here's what it looks like now. You can see totally gone. That park is located on Boston Parkway off of Northwest 156th Street. Police say they were called just before 2 o'clock this morning and found it completely engulfed and crews got it out. But the playground is a total loss. It's now being investigated as arson. The rest of the park is still open. It is a big day for Southeast Polk School District. In just a few minutes, they're cutting the ribbon on the new $22 million sports stadium. It has room for more than 6,000 fans, and it will host football, soccer, along with track and field. It also boasts a cool tunnel that visitors will use when they enter the stadium from the parking area at the high school across the street. We'll take a full behind-the-scenes tour coming up tonight at 6. We have some big news for craft beer lovers. One of the state's most popular breweries opening a new location right here in Des Moines. Toppling Goliath is based out of Decorah in Northeast Iowa. Now this is the first expansion out of that area for the brewery. The business record broke this news. It says the new location will be one of the anchor tenants in a new mixed use development between 24th and 25th streets, just east of Drake University. And it's expected to open in 2025. Well, we will have plenty of other local news updates tonight on KCCI 8 News at 6. Of course, there's plenty more to share from the Iowa State Fair, and Jason's out there now. And I think I know the answer, but the weather <laughs> is great today. Beautiful out right now. I, I, I can't believe how many days in a row we've had of just beautiful fair weather. Uh, temperature right now, upper 70s, low 80s is what we've been looking at. Um, and it's kind of been the theme of the day, and it hasn't even been that humid outside. We've had just a glorious amount of sunshine. So as we look outside right now, you can see skies are clear across the state. Temperatures again across okay. the state have largely been in that upper 70s no, to uh, low 80s category. We had a front roll through really early this morning, and that really helped to cool things down for us. But if you're hoping for heat, I don't know who you are, but I'm not. Uh, we do have quite a bit of that on the way. As we head into the weekend, if you're waiting to uh, head to the fair for this weekend, again, it's going to be 
very hot out there, but if you're headed out tonight for the grandstand show, it looks to be a picture-perfect night for that. Temperatures again going to be backing down eventually into the 60s. We've got the clear skies to go along with that breeze. We'll even be tapering back. It has been a little windy out there today, but uh, guys, it looks to be a beautiful day out at the fair. Thank you, Jason. Okay, who loves to try the sweet treats at the fair? Yeah. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, and do we have a sweet treat for you today. Lucas Smith is here from Doe Crazy with the Doe Crazy Sweet Stick. Look at that thing, it's beautiful. Tell us about this. All right, so it has eight different flavors of cookie dough. We got a chocolate chip, a brownie, a cherry chocolate chip, cake batter, a brookie, a monster cookie, a cookies and cream, and just dough. And then a little something on top, right? Look at that. Chocolate drizzle up top. A nice chocolate. Nice chocolate drizzle on top. Come on, that's gorgeous. How did you decide to do this? So we own Doe Crazy in downtown Des Moines. That's our storefront. So we have 12 flavors that we always have, and eight of them are these right here that are permanent menu. Uh -huh. So we decided how can we incorporate our storefront cookie dough, and boom. I know, cookie dough on a stick. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Okay, so where do people find you? Uh, we're located at the Livestock Pavilion, just right behind us down the hill. Nope, I didn't say we're just on the outside of the building. Okay, great. And we're going to share these treats right now. So, crowd, let's hear it. Look at this. We'll go ahead and pass those out. Oh, take the whole thing. Yeah. So when we come back, we are going to talk to some big winners, including one you'll see on a much bigger stage tonight. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to the KCCI 8 News at 5, live from the Mid-American Energy Stage. We want to make sure you don't miss out on any of the fun. The folks watching from home or the, on the very local app can scan the QR code at the bottom of the screen to see what's on tap for tomorrow. Stacy. Who are the big winners you have with you up there on stage? I know. Thank you, Jason. This is so cool. You know, the fun and creative contests are some of the mainstays at the fair. One of the things we all look forward to. And that includes the yodeling contest. This is Annie Clements, the first place winner in the contest. So, Annie, where are you from? I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. All right. So, how you came to compete in this is pretty special. Tell us about that. Well, uh, I'm a musician and I'm performing here tonight, but anytime we come through a city, I just love to go out and see where we are and take it all in. And uh, I went to the yodeling contest because I wanted to hear who was yodeling. And there were only two competitors. And when they were done, they asked the uh, audience for volunteers. So I, <laughs> I waved my hand and I got a first place blue ribbon all from the right. Iowa State Fair. So nice. thank you all very much. <laughs> Had you ever done yodeling before? Absolutely not. <laughs> not one time. <laughs> so I hear you're going to be performing, okay, at the fair tonight. Uh, where and with who? I'll be at the grandstand tonight. I play bass guitar for Miss Marin Morris. So come see us tonight. Awesome. How cool is that? Uh, you want to do a, a yodeling performance for us? Okay. I only got one, and you'll hear it for the second time. Uh, Congratulations, Annie. Thank you so much. Wonderful to meet you. Marin Morris plays the grandstand tonight at 8 o'clock. Rapper Ludacris plays tomorrow night. We have the Chicks Saturday and Jason Aldean on Sunday. Another contest that we just love to bring up and have you have uh, demonstrate for us is the whistling contest. You know, whistling takes a lot of work. And we have the youth whistling contest winner, and you make it look easy. So what's your name? Where are you from? I am Rowan from Bondurant. How old are you, Rowan? Nine. Nine. How long have you been whistling? Three years. Nice. And uh, what are you gonna what are you gonna whistle for us today? Happy uh Hunter's Chorus. Go ahead and give us a shot. Let's hear what you got. Nice job. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. You know, after today, there are only three more days of the Iowa State Fair. I don't know how that's possible. Time flies when you're having fun, truly. So we want to end those uh, days on a high note, Jason, but we were hoping it wasn't going to be a high temperature note. Well, it's going to be pretty gross. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Today's about as beautiful as it gets. I mean, we're talking, you know, low 80s today. Um, and 90s are just around the corner as we head into the weekend. So let's take a look at, the, at what we've got out there right now. Uh, our current temperatures have been sitting anywhere in, from the upper 70s to the low 80s. So we have built in a lot of comfort. And look at that dew point. Earlier this morning, it was 65. We've seen that uh, ride in a northwest wind drop all the way down to 52. So it is a whole lot more comfortable out there. And looking on your uh, satellite and radar, you can see there's not a lot else going on out there. We've got a pretty quiet day. A whole lot of sunshine to be had. Um, temperatures across the state, again, have been sitting in that 70s range. So really, it is just a beautiful day to sneak outside. If you haven't had a chance yet, I'd highly recommend you go out and do just that. Um, but again, temperatures are going to start to climb. We're not necessarily seeing that out there today. Uh, as we head into the evening, in fact, we're going to be seeing that dip back down into the middle 50s. So it's going to be, dare I say, a cool start to your Friday. Uh, but again, skies will be clear. And as we look at our future cast here, you can see maybe some stray clouds that'll be rolling on through. 
otherwise we're not looking at much as far as rain is concerned really for the next eight days which i know a whole heaping helping of the state is still in a pretty bad drought uh, we do not have any help for that in the near term here uh, but if you do have plans to be outside you're not going to be running into anything weather wise for the next 48 hours that's really going to get in your way so your low overnight again going to be in the middle 50s as we head into tomorrow we gain a few degrees we're back up into the middle 80s and uh, as we uh, look across the state for your day tomorrow tonight it is going to get pretty cool um, some of us down into the low 50s and uh, we'll eventually see those temperatures start to work their way back as we head into tomorrow afternoon again back into the middle 80s so not into the thick of the heat just yet for your forecast for tomorrow uh, but as we start to inch our way into uh, later days into the weekend here, the 85s that we'll see tomorrow and 82s are going to feel pretty nice. You look at that eight-day forecast, there's a whole lot of sweat going on there. 94 on Saturday, we're close to 100 on Tuesday. Next chance for rain, you got to wait all the way until Friday. Jason, thank you. Okay, now to an Iowa State Fair favorite, the Red Trousers Show. Let's welcome David and Tobin. We love having you guys here and performing with us. But for folks who may not know, be familiar with, tell us about your show. Uh, so we perform a partner acrobatic, fire juggling, and comedy show. All at the same time. All at the same All time. All at the same time. Yeah. How long have you been performing at the State Fair? Uh, I believe this is our seventh year at the fair, but not mm -hmm. all in a row. Okay. And any favorite fair memories? Yeah. Well, just two nights ago, we went and saw Jeff Dunham. That, oh, that was yeah, that was fun. Yeah, Good show. he's a funny guy. Good show. Good show. Well, let me get out of the way and you guys take it away so we can see your act in action. Yeah. Everyone, say Red Trouser Show. All right. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of fire juggling. So, on three, everybody yell fire. One, two, three. Fire! Here we go. A little teaser of our show. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Iowa, be with us. Whoa. Oh. Woo. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Ha 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 ha. Burn, chuckle boy, burn. <laughs> Heard it. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Wow. <laughs> I can do better though, check this out. <laughs> yeah. Expo Hill every day at noon, two and four. Thank you, David and Tobin. Let's hear it for the guys here.
Welcome back to KCCI 8 News at 5, live from the Iowa State Fair. We'd like to give you a little live music before we go, and today we have a homegrown artist with us, Cody Hicks from Montezuma. Please welcome Cody. What's up, everybody? He played right here on this stage this afternoon, and he'll be performing again at the Bud Tent from 7 to 9 p.m. Cody, can you tell us a little bit about your music? Sure. We just do uh, some rock country music, a uh, little bit of original stuff, and some of your favorites that you've heard on the radio. And uh, we just try and make it fun for everybody that comes out to our shows. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, um, if you missed us today, we're back again tomorrow. But for now, Cody, you want to take it away? Yeah, yeah. sure. Thank you, Cody. Thank awesome. you. I was raised on a rural route three. I passed with the black top ends. We walked to church on Sunday morning, raced barefoot back to Johnson's fence. That's where I first saw Mary. On that roadside picking blackberries Summer I turned the corner in my soul Down that red dirt road That's where I drank my first beer That's where I found Jesus Where I wrecked my first car I tore it all to pieces I learned the path to heaven Full of sinners and believers, learning happiness on earth. 